So, 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 be very welcome to the 25th, 25th uh, touchdown or our fourth uh, Gitcoin work party. Uh, it's a, it has been a real pleasure, uh, all this exploration that we have been, been making. And uh, I was talking with Laurin yesterday. Uh, how even revisiting, like I'm doing and Lauren is doing too, we're revisiting the touchdowns, we're, we're reviewing it, and, uh, and Lauren, you're already up with the cam, okay, so we can see you and your apartment. <laughs> so, uh, now, now in the United States, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, not in the United States anymore. So, uh, we were talking how... It, it has really been rich conversations, rich touchdowns, and uh, really impressive. Uh, the material, the content, and the discussions and the content, the perspectives, all the things, uh, it, we will really, we really gain a lot of knowledge in between our perceptions and in between all the all the folks that has. Uh, been attending right uh, to these touchdowns, and uh, we're gonna gain a lot, a, a lot of attraction with the with the with this Trove interface that we're we're starting to have right with this page. And Laurie, uh, when I was revising yesterday, uh, I was such in a hurry that. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm so tuned. I'm so tuned with all the things that we're doing here, that when I when I when I was I I I read the notes that you put in the in the in, in the end of the the newsletter, I, I <laughs> it's interesting because this is something related to the to uh, to the type of uh, uh, how to say. Uh, uh, the type of thing I, I have been doing with Vincent when we when we were both on here, right? I read that Vincent came up with. Excuse me, Vinicius. Vinicius. I, I can't hear you. It's it's cutting your audio. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not good. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait a sec. So, I... Vinicius, we're having trouble hearing you. Um, the connection's really bad. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm going. I'm going to enter via 4G. Just a sec. Maybe we can turn our camera off, uh, shut down our, our cameras, and we save bandwidth. Yeah. Is it better now? Is it better now? I don't know. Is it better now, folks? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. So I, I, I'm going to hand to you, Laurie. I'm going to hand to you, Laurie. Yes, or, a lot better. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to hand to you, Laurie, or to TB, or to visit, or to anyone, to just to make a contact. I was trying to make a contextualization, and uh, let me see if, if I can better my connection here. So, Laurie, please uh, take take the lead. Okay, well, I talked to, um, you know, Tiberius a little bit on uh, Messenger, and um, so he he was the one who um, said uh, he thought we should have uh, more of a kind of action-oriented plan just so that um, people who are uh, action-oriented on the call um, won't get um, um, anxious and, um, and uh, start to have their enthusiasm fizzle out a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, so to, today is the day we um, uh, start kind of making an action plan and seeing kind of what, how we would like our meta discussions to even take action. And so I just, I put it out there that uh, I thought it would be interesting um, and I would like to make a proposal that we um, use, um, Anthony's uh, 3D printer invention and the um, greens for good model as something that we could um, kind of work on together and maybe um, 
uh, what what I've been doing, wanting to do for a long time is to kind of form a group uh, or have an event where we could have um, some people focus a little bit on new business models um, for some of these kind of open source, open value network uh, stuff to kind of bring it into some kind of tangible thing. And I think that we can frame that in our kind of system D Gambiara um, memes that we've already kind of developed. So that, that I just wanted to uh, do that as a, I just wanted to propose that and I, I'll kind of like uh, pass the mic to TV now. Yeah, can you hear me just a second? I also have some, I'm lost in, uh, in, the, um, in Zoom. I wanna close this and open the other thing. Two seconds, please. How do I get out of this? Shit. <clears throat> Are you guys hearing me better now? Yeah, there's kind of an echo. Okay. Yeah. And you now it's better, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I agree totally with Florian. And if uh, if Anthony pops up today, uh -huh. we can we can shift we can shift to what you propose, Florian. Mm -hmm. It, of course we can, of course we're going to co-create something related to what he's creating with him, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, uh, and I suggest yesterday for Laurin that uh, as, as a topic for today, as something that we can do today together is to co-create what is going to be this collection on the Gitcoin space between Sensorica, <coughs> Utopia, uh, be well, Laurin, be well, be well. Uh, Sensorica, Utopia, Tao Dao, right? Uh, I, I think so, smart NIA with Unai, but of course we have to, to get an, a notion about this. And uh, with you, Vincent, my friend, with Trove, because Trove is going to be part of it. And it would be, would be nice if we talk about the mechanics because I know I, I, I am in the met, I am in the Sensorica verse in Discord, uh, really, uh, really following up all the discussions around Greens for Good, around all sorts of, of, of incentive, pitch. Uh, navigation, okay, TV, really a very rich navigation. And uh, the same thing is happening in Utopia, right? And the same thing is happening in Tao Dao. So, but, but in a very different manner, very different. Where <coughs> actually uh, we have these three verses starting to have a wormhole, starting to have, you see, some folks from Sosorica pops up in Utopia Discord, mm -hmm. uh, some folks still doesn't pop up in Tao Dao's Discord. I don't know if mainly is because they're, we're, we're talking in the, in the Brazilian Portuguese language there. <laughs> we're not talking in English. We only have a channel to talk in English, but it's starting, right? The, the wormhole the wormhole theory and Pat Pratic proposed by TV is, is working, it's function. <laughs> it's functional. So uh, we're teleporting ourselves to this, to this verses. Right. It's really nice, but uh, and uh, related to the related to the to the convergence between Utopia and Sosorica, we still have that outreach, that dynamics to make via OCAS experience to the Rope Maker project, right? TV. Uh, this is something that we're going to start to do next week. Right, there Atlas that is here is interesting in doing. Uh, of course, I'm going to be together at this first experiment. And uh, I think that Guilherme is going to be together too. So maybe some other folks comes along like uh, Louise that you guys don't know yet. So it's going to be nice to see how this, this unveils, right? And uh, it's going to really be nice. 
uh, uh, here we go. And uh, and so it would be nice. I don't know if if you had that in mind, Chibi, for us to have a start co-creating. What could be uh, the in betweens, right, of this collection in the Gitcoin space, and how can we use Trove to to make it more dy dynamical, uh, <clears throat> not only between us, but be uh, for all the folks in the in the Gitcoin space, right? I think that we have a, a really interesting opportunity here, because if you took if you take a look on the pages that are there for all the grants, they're just that, that uh, inertia page <laughs> that really doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, come up with the, the accents of the proposal. It's like a institutional, remember those web point one pages in the 90s, the last century? <laughs> it seems like that because they're all, they're, they have only one, one face, right? They're all always one face. Uh, folks uh, don't really bother to, to, to let's say, to, to refresh, right? The page with new information, with, it's, it's not dynamical. So, and I think that we can make it really dynamical with, with Trove there. And uh, as we're talking about in the next, uh, last, uh, last, the, our last touchdown, we can we can exercise this uh, sense making algorithm that we talk about it right. We, it's going to be a, a very beautiful opportunity to do this. So that's it. That's my proposal for today. Uh, and of course, if Anthony pops up, we can shift for him. But I don't know if Chibi has some other ideas. So let's go. Oh, of course, uh, we're still we're still making a deep dive, right? We're still making a dive, not a deep dive, a dive in the Gitcoin space and things like that, and related to crypto. I don't know. So for me, it's it. I don't. So whatever uh, path that we take today, for me, it's good. Okay, let's go. Good. Um, yeah. Good questions. Um, so. Um, we had some discussions in Centrica about Gitcoin um, and the the the, uh, the fact that you know it, it open it allows some in intersectionality between uh, these organizations. And uh, who was there? I think Unai was there, and uh, we were talking about this feature in Gitcoin, which is a cluster, a cluster or a group where you can put different projects into one category right and uh, <clears throat> and we thought that is that is a sort of a, uh, a tool um, to put a, a sort of a um, to, to put a, a fence around initiatives that uh, would come from all these different networks and signal through that that these are these have something in common which is not just the topic, but it's maybe the ethos or the, the, the philosophy or the economic model behind them. Uh, they come from communities or networks that share um, in a way, you know, um, a model. So that could be the first, you know, um, shared space, let's say. Okay, and then Vinny, you mentioned maybe Trove as a no man's land where we can congregate. So I like the idea of not being on somebody's turf necessarily, but but uh, meeting in a in a neutral space. Uh, because if you say, okay, let's all um, <laughs> be on the Sensorica platform to talk about our common project, this, this, would, be, this would be unbalanced, right? This would be unbalanced. Um, so in order to preserve that idea of peer to peer uh, and, and not having anything um, capturing more, you know, um, I think it's, uh, it's good to choose, um, it's healthy. I think it's healthy to choose a, a sort of a, a neutral zone 
where we can we can have the discussions and, and put some data. Um, because otherwise, um, other people will perceive that this would be a Sensorica initiative, which is not. So that's not healthy um, to shift focus to just to one organization rather than to, to all, right? So I think it's um, I think it's a good start. Um, then um, if uh, videos are also on Trove, so so we have we have some uh, data that can provide some context about what we do to other people that will come later. Because this is not just for us that we are here, right? It's it's we have to think about it as something that will attract more people um, to to contribute and participate. And uh, when they come, they they need to understand what the heck is going on. So maybe we can create a link between Gitcoin and Trove, and and maybe we can start working on Trove and uh, mirror. I mean, have these have these projects being presented there somehow. <clears throat> um, you know, when you build a crowdfunding campaign, you gotta give a link to somewhere where there is more information, and people can go in depth and maybe connect in some way. So maybe we can start doing that. I don't know. Um, where is Vince? Um, I don't know if you see um, if you see that being possible. How can we create in Trove a sort of a space that um, it's um, uh, doesn't give yeah. the, the 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 idea that you're on somebody's turf, but here's mm. a meeting. Here's a meeting place, a place where different networks have decided to uh, set up camp and um, and coordinate their, their their action type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. totally, Chibi. And Alexar is here with us, folks. Mm -hmm. Alexar is in the house. Hey, Alexar. Be very welcome, my friend. Hey, all. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, Flavia is coming on, too. I don't know if she's already here. <laughs> But Flavio will be here. Uh, well, uh, totally, Chibi. It's uh, what is what is brilliant about the Trove the, the Trove platform is because it's, it's a meta platform. Because so you have all these intersections of groups, of enterprises, of endeavors, of that thing that we talked last week, Vincent about hubs, nodes, right? This network uh, language, right? Because uh, we, we don't feel he here like a, a group, right? We feel like a hub, let's say. <clears throat> Not necessarily like a group because we already in that realm of networks of networks, right, TV? So <laughs> we're already there, right? So, and it's going to be nice to see how, how this unveils, right? So I agree totally with you, my friend. And uh, but it's going to be nice if we can beep today today with Vincent's uh, perspective, and of course, Alexar that comes from <laughs> another perspective that is very rich too. How this the, how this quantum mechanics between <laughs> our verses and Vincent is not is not is not the metaverse. Okay, I saw that that nasty. <laughs> that nauseous video that uh, that Zuckerberg made about the metaverse. Wow, man! Uh, I have to recover myself. It's uh, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> world dominance. World dominance. <laughs> the new internet. Oh, I didn't wow. see that. Really? Uh, no. Yeah, Facebook. Really? Facebook rebranded to Meta. That's their new name. And they are now Jeez. a metaverse company instead of a social media company. And oh, I think no! they. No! No! <laughs> they. Oh, yeah. Wow! No. Yep. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Um, <laughs> Kill the messenger! <laughs> no! <Yeah>. Totally, totally! <laughs> 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 um, if, if you're interested in learning more and being, uh, yeah, putting your anger somewhere, this is a good article about why they changed <laughs> the name. Um, can, you, can you share a link? Yeah, I'll put it in my back. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm interrupting. 
I'm trying to get in the room from my computer. Can someone let me in? Because I want to have access to the links and be able to message. Thank you. Who is that? Ah, it was Alexa. Ah, that was me. So. Okay. Now I'm going to enter, re enter from the other body. Thank you. Hi, Flavia. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. This is the first time I've been here where another woman has showed up. <laughs> so <excited>. Yay, nice. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> Yay. Flavia, where are you? I'm in Rio, um, Brazil also. Uh, Vinny invited me. Uh, I'm part of the Utopia ecosystem. Okay. Great, welcome. Yeah. Bienvindo. You wanna say more about your experience? Um... Me? Yeah, since you're the first time here. Um, okay, so sure. Um, so I joined Utopia this year, and I'm really interested in in DAO and other types of um, community arrangements and participation. I'm also part of another project that works with the social currency here in in Rio. So I'm I'm really interested to know more about what you guys are doing. And ever since uh, Vinicius shared about the idea, I was really excited to know more. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. You know, one thing I thought of um, when we were talking about wealth, one of the one of the issues with coming together in a hub <laughs> is that you know lots of different groups have different innovations, but a group often doesn't know its own innovations. They can't describe them, and they don't even know. Uh, their their real innovation might be something different than what they think that they're developing um because that it just happens that way and after i kind of reread our previous discussions it became kind of clear to me um more clear to me what the different groups were bringing to the table and so it clarified to me that um one thing that kiko lab has done um when i attracted people to Kiko Lab, like um, what I try to do is bring in people that I thought were wise. So it was a much, much older group, like a lot of people were really um, old and very smart and um, but it wasn't like the most energetic group. So it wasn't like a young kind of Tao uh, kind of group, but it laid a lot of foundations to of like kind of like uh, wisdom and um, how to how to um, explore safely. So we laid a lot of the groundwork for safe exploration um, in the peer to peer area. And that's, you know, doing things like um, how to um, how to talk with a diverse group of people, whether it's across class or race, how to um, <coughs> you know, neurodiversity and account and some things that you need in place to actually do that. Um, so I, I began to see kind of what our own innovations were. And then it made me see that um, what um, the, you know, Utopia and uh, Tao Dao are really like um, kind of cutting edge, really doing a lot of these explorations and um having a really like organic kind of experience and then you know with sensorica it seems like there's always kind of like like some practical implementations of actually like doing stuff and revising that and um codifying the technical um aspects of um working together in a peer-to-peer um function and then um you know alexar is connected to a lot of the uh open source uh tech groups and um also um people who are exploring peer-to-peer -peer business models so i just wanted to throw that out there to kind of uh place things and vincent's just like a super connector um who's in kiko lab and who's in 
not only in a lot of different groups, but just like um, he likes to bring things together and he's a hub in himself. So I just wanted to put that out there. Nice. Not nice, not nice, not nice. Where, where are we? Where, where are we? I'm coming from the voice, from the future, now to the present. So loudly, I'm very pleased. Come on, Vincent. Say something, man. Okay, I don't have the same uh, audio effects to make <laughs> to make music like you did, but uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Lauren. I was gonna say, um, like Buckminster Fuller, he says, "Call me, uh, call me Verb, call me Hub," but then I realized it sounds like Hubby, so I take it back. I rescind <laughs> my joke. Can someone send them, uh, the the um um link to trove because i was about to um, do something with it but uh, i can't find it Let's yeah i'll paste the link to the event page and then thank you, you can click the home page from there can you, uh, place the link where in the, this, the chat it's in the uh, zoom chat Catalyst. Oh, okay. That's that's the word I was looking for. Catalyst. Okay. Yeah. So let me. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm I'm just I'm just placing links uh, hooks uh, within the the centric environment so that uh, people can find it more easily. Okay. Um... Yeah. So I'm gonna be hands down here uh, on the keyboard, uh, trying to implement some. Uh, stuff related to this um, metaverse. <laughs> so if somebody wants to, um, um, so Vinicius, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is uh, just by try and error here, um, try to see how we could um, create this, um, how, we, how we could make Trove look like something um, that resembles the this sort of this coalition and um, and see how we can how I can build a bridge with Sensorica so people can jump in and find uh, find it easily. Trying to understand where to put these hooks on the Sensorica. Yeah, uh, uh, first of all, it's going to be nice to understand if we're we're all on the same page here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if Alexa is understanding what you're doing now because. Uh, did you got Alexa the, the the contextualization that we done uh, about how we're going to work uh, as a collection in the Gitcoin space? Not in the Gitcoin space. Okay, so then I don't know. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. But I thought I understand, but apparently I don't. Yeah. Well, we're we're making this move uh, to have uh, the Trove environment, the Catalyst Trove Trove. A catalyst in, in environment as a catalyst, <laughs> right? Uh, for all our all our endeavors, right? And uh, in a way to have to, to make a real a real proactive and dynamical conversation uh, uh, between our endeavors, not only between our endeavors, but between whatever experiment that we're going to do in other other verses, right? Other spaces. So. The first spaces that we want to make uh, experiment is the Gitcoin space. I think that you know that, and uh, we already we're already bundle, bundling up uh, all the endeavors that are here are going to be bundled there, like uh, a collection. They call it a collection the Gitcoin space, right? Will be bundled as as a collection the Gitcoin space. So. There, we're going to have Sensorica, we're going to have Utopia, we're going to have Tao Dao, we're going to have uh, 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 Trove, of course. We're going to have uh, Smart NEI. I don't know if Udai is going to be with us, but uh, technically he's going to be with us. It can have any of yours 
any of you, one of yours or yours initiative or endeavor that you have been co-creating, Alexar. And uh, it, it, it can have even, Flavia, cambiatus or muda, if it's the case, right? So uh, the thing is that we want to do something very organic, uh, not so organizational, but we, we, we want to enhance uh, the possibility to explore the collective intelligence between our endeavors and between our endeavors and the Gitcoin space, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to use Trove for that, right? So uh, it's going to be a really, really interesting experiment, not only because we're going to get out of it with uh, some crypto, for some really interesting crypto resources that we're going to share, right? But we're going to have opportunity to develop all sorts of, of perspectives and all sorts of, of comprehensions that we actually don't have between our endeavors and between our endeavors in the Gitcoin space. And uh, I how think does it's going it to be... How does it help be, with comprehensions? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pass that for Vincent. Vincent allowed him to, to better explain it. Uh, so... <laughs> Not, not, not be only myself here talking about. So, so is, maybe is, I could, um, yeah, yeah, please, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm gonna actually join from my computer. Um, that way I could screen share. So there's gonna be another Vincent joining, or it might say Francesco. <laughs> Recording. <laughs> Yeah, we did do the swap thing today, Vincent. We didn't have time today. I did. <laughs> you did it, man. You did it. You did. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show an example of Um, a past event on Trove of the possibilities. Um, <coughs> so I think the, the real value uh -huh. proposition of how Trove collects and stores information is that it's all about creating links and, and really focusing on the edges and the connections between things. And so recognizing this idea that nothing exists in, in a silo. And so um, I'm gonna go to the calendar. Um, so this is the press conference. And we've been working on adding um, more and more ways to not only link up information, but also be able to visualize it in really interesting ways. You can see the kind of connections between like, okay, at our wealth imagining event, right in um, Octo early October, there was a conversation, which is linked to a project, that project is a project page, that project added resources, which then you could link the project to resources, and those resources could then be linked to groups. And so it's ways that people can find information that is really relevant in a certain context with that they wouldn't otherwise find without those sort of connections. And so um, this event page, um, for example, has like the main kind of event summary, but then if you scroll to the bottom, it starts having all these different connections. So the first one is like who attended this event, for example, like if we wanted to like, uh, if we had like a, a bigger event, like a conference, you can have RSVPs where people submit their um, presentations, like you know, if we have a guest that comes in to present, we could have them like put their project um, on the event page. And then if anyone goes to this event page a year later, they'd see a link to the project, contact information, um, a video recording. And so trying to make it really actionable like when people find information like, OK, here's the next step that I can take with this. Um, and then um, we've been working on also ways to kind of export this data in ways that it can be visualized in different ways or that it can be shared with other platforms. Um, and so 
a lot of people were requesting different ways to um, kind of interoperate the Trove data with like graph visualizations, for example. Yeah. And so we're working on this like visualization where like here's the press conference and then here's all the different links that were shared in the Zoom chat. And then if you click on any of these links, um, there's metadata associated and you can also like um, on the Trove page actually continue to curate this information. So like this is my project here. And so I can add an opportunity, like an offer or a need linked to that project. And, and then um, for projects, for links, um, like for example, um, there's, this was a, um, Carol posted her Patreon for um, a project that she's working on. So we could add like tag, like, uh, like support needed. And so if we go through the links and add all the tags where support was needed, now you're able to then start to like filter by these different tags. Um, and so, yeah, I've been working on how do we kind of create this like knowledge network um, and each one of these different artifacts has links to all the other relevant information. So like I'm imagining if we added a project that's on Gitcoin onto Trove, then, you know, if we talk about that project in an event, it could be linked. Um, and then that project might have things that it's looking for help with. Um, and so then we can add those as opportunities. And each one of those things can then be shared with only like specific people, or it can be public where anyone can find your offer and then contact you. Um, and so for example, this is like the project page um, and you can see like active opportunities to get involved um, as well as like the different links to like my profile, similar projects, upcoming events, um, and so linked resources. So I hope that gives a, a, a little bit of an overview of, um, I think the one thing that we might, um, I wanted to ask about is like, what are the sort of activities that Reimagining Wealth wants to do? And um, in terms of like chat, right now Trove is not offering a, a really comprehensive like chat um we'd rather that happen in platforms designed for it like discord <laughs> or um you know matrix telegram etc and we have some like chat bots that like can integrate with the discord and like pull out links so it can kind of like garden the the stream and pull out like information and then make libraries um but that's kind of um how we've been thinking about like creation of information is like really just capturing what needs to be captured instead of like having a flood it's more over like quality and quantity of information nice uh can you can question yeah, or uh, aggregate uh, other perspectives feel free sure thank you um uh, just like it's uh, almost 2 a.m. or maybe a bit abrupt or blunt. Uh, I apologize about that. I think it's uh, not intended. So the, the part that I didn't understand, this was great to see the update. Uh, Vincent, that's like really impressive. Um, uh, the, the question I had was about the previous conversation about uh, Gitcoin. And I, I think I understood everything you said except for the part that how does it provide more comprehension? To, yeah, I think that's the part that was confusing to me. Maybe I missed um, the important part. If someone can explain that. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, uh, we have been doing these touchdowns uh, almost for five months now, I think. Uh, four, to, four to five months now. And we have been talking on how to act as a type of ecology of DAOs, right? Yeah. Type of ecology of DAOs, where uh, we're not acting as a consortium of organizations. We're acting like like uh, uh, amalgamation of organisms, right? An ecology of organisms. And uh, since uh, uh, all uh, great parts of the endeavors here are very organic. LXR, like uh, Taudao, like Utopia, uh, like, like Sensorica, right? And uh, uh, 
we, we, we didn't have the time to, to sense how organic the uh, Unai's proposal is in the sense that he belongs, he, he, he's in an NGO in, in Tanzania called N, NIE, NIA, right? And, uh, and he's part of a group called SMART that is part of a, a, another group in the Gitcoin space uh, that we will, I don't know if we will get along with them too, but <laughs> the, the idea is to have all sorts of connections, right? All sorts of, of dimensions, that's the idea. This is the space that is interesting for us to do this first experiment. Not only because it's a space where you can you can receive, you can you, you can make your grant for your initiative, your project, your endeavor, right? So you can receive some crypto, uh, because it, it's not uh, it's not a, a, a space that is driven by the same uh, the same conventions that uh, of, of of a typical or or a conventional crowd crowd. Uh, crowdfunding or crowdsourcing, okay. right? They have their, their own dynamics, right? And they are related to the web 3.0 environment. They're related to the DAO environment. So they seek via their <coughs> quadratic funding algorithm, they seek to enhance uh, web 3.0 and the, the culture of DAO throughout the planet. So if you have some proposals that, that is, has a synergy with this, well, you're, you're welcome to the space, right? You're very welcome to the space. So, and uh, so it's going to be an experiment where we're going to have the opportunity to... Because um, like Vinny pointed out, um, the stuff that pulls us together is not clearly defined. So by trying to um, clearly define it, it's probably defeats the purpose of, of the exploration. Um, if uh, the perception of, from what you get from, from what you see and and and, and what we really think we want to be uh, because if you see a box um, you see a sort of a closed finite space that would be defined by a clear mission and 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 that would not be us you see what i'm saying so what i'm trying to say is maybe we should have um, a, a, a document or something where we kind of explore a little bit the ontology of this thing we, you know we use terms like wormholes metaverse um ecology um a very inclusive we so you see already from the language and maybe if we go back to videos um we can extract this what is what, what are we made of right and make the space resemble that make the space look like that um uh, you know so so there is no mismatch between what we really want to explore and, this, and, and the environment where we collaborate. Because if there is a mismatch, um, it, it affects how people behave. You know, uh, this, this is seen in architecture. If you, uh, well, hospitals are designed in a, in a way, schools are designed in another way, and a museum is designed, or an art gallery is designed in a different way. Um, uh, because as people enter a space, um, their behavior is affected by the architecture around them, right? Um, so if you walk into a prison, well, um, you have this sense of, I don't know, security or, uh, you know, that, that, is, that is embedded in the architecture. So, so your behavior, you become a prisoner, okay? In some, in, in some way, subconsciously. Uh, when you see the guards and the doors and the locks. So, <clears throat> so what, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is, what you okay? What you're trying to say is that the, we gotta decide what kind of behaviors we would like to activate in those similar like-minded groups, and why that is. What kind of uh, uh, interactions we expect to have with other like-minded people, or maybe we don't have in, expect to interact with other similar groups, or are we? And if we are, we can design this environment to activate those behaviors and the things that yeah. might go wrong. We design the environment to discourage those things. It's behaviors. So it's behaviors, and also the flows, the fl how things flow, um, you know, um, in and out of this thing. Um, uh, and when I mean when I say flows, is information, is people, 
uh, how, how things are flowing. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, so that, um, so yeah, people behave is one thing and how, how things flow is, an, is another one. Um, yeah. So, because Trove is Trove, you know, has, or, or uh, how do you say, um, Catalyst Network is, has been built by some programmers um, that um, um, assumed uh, or agreed on, on a specific ontology. Okay, so they thought that, okay, people want to organize events here, people want to post projects, and they create collaborations, and they have to post needs and, and match it with wants, and they have, they have to store information, and we give them some tools to structure that information. Some of these things are good, but some other things, you know, um, some, I, see, I see a lot of this when people form Facebook groups to collaborate, and I always tell them, Facebook is not a collaboration tool. Uh, and um, um, it's not designed as such. So we will not perform well as an environment if you want to do collaboration. It's just for chit-chatting and I'm, I'm, I'm better than everything else and look at me and, you know. Um, so, so it's more like a who's who type of social dynamic, you know, it's not a, a collaborative environment. <clears throat> and, and, and so uh, people get into trouble, um, get into trouble because they, they, they don't use the proper tool, right? That has been designed and there's a mismatch in the ontology of, um, you know, what they really want to do and, and, and the environment in which they operate. So what I'm trying to say is that we're, we're trying to kind of um, um, uh, turn uh, Catalyst, the Catalyst Network platform into a space that he, it has not been designed necessarily to be. Uh, but can we bend, can, can, we, can we kind of bend and, and, and um, um, I don't know, band and yeah. hack this platform to look like something that resembles us. Let, let me help there. Let me help. Let me help. Let me help there a little bit before you 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 you, you respond, Vincent. Please. Uh, I think that we what we were seeking here is uh, a type of chameleon identity uh, where. Uh, where we, where this super organism or this ecology of DAOs can be a lot of things for a lot of a lot of folks in, in different contexts, right? So we're not looking for that typical organizational one identity with one mission, right? If it's me, we're not looking for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the thing. So in this sense, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be interesting, Vincent, uh, to put in the horizon as the challenge for Trove uh, and for all of us to, to, to co-create this outer dimension or this inner inner honor because it's, it's, a, it's a movement, right? It's not something is this defined as inner or outer. It's something that is in between inner and outer. So this inner outer uh, dimension where we can, as a chameleon, has all sorts of identities for different folks, for different for different perspectives, for different contexts. Let's say, mm -hmm. so it's going to be nice if we can, if in the process of doing this movement that we're already doing and doing in the Gimpoint space, we can catalyze it. We can we can come up with it, and it can be related to the Web 3.0. Right? It's going to be nice. Imagine if we can come up with something. It has this technological uh, uh, thing too that we can come up with something that is Web three related too. It's going to be wow! It's going to be fantastic, right? So uh, I, I'm just adding this 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 perspective because as we're speaking, TV, it came up to me that uh, this this is part of the dark energy, dark matter thing that we're talking here about. So something that we don't know, we don't already have in hands as a tool as a perception, as a current knowledge, right? So that, that's, that's the challenge that we're, we're putting ourselves in, in my perspective, yeah. So Visa, please, man. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, Tiberius, it was a, this is a really great point. So Trove, I guess, prioritizes making connections visible in a way that is organize enough so that it can work across groups that speak different languages, so to say, um, and and allows uh, the kind of categorization of information in a way that 
um, lets you find things at scale um, when, when there's a lot of information. In my experience, there's a trade-off here between how much organization there is that allows for that sort of like cross-group coherence. Like for example, I, I'm in hundreds of groups. And so seeing different groups have their own like event database or their like Google sheet or Airtable with like their events or their own calendar. And then they have like different fields for how they're like categorizing events. Like it drives me nuts because they're not interoperable and they're not finding things across groups because they're just using like a 90% different, like, like it's almost there. It's like 90% there, but it's like a 10% different format. And so um, the process of developing the ontology that um, exists right now is kind of looking at uh, like maybe 250 different groups and seeing how they try to organize things and then creating a kind of like ontology that will like within 90% approximate the types of ontologies that people are already kind of creating. And also when I feel like the ontology, when I have a, an intuition that the tools like Facebook are actually not designed to give enough kind of coherence to specific types of groups, then like, okay, actually this needs to be a separate thing. Like, so there's also some like wisdom that comes in like seeing um, the, the mismatch between what people are trying to do and the outcome and that being caused by some data structure being too flexible and too free. For example, I was working in mutual aid where there was a Google doc where people were sharing resources across the country, like thousands of resources. And it was in a giant Google doc with a list of links. I was like, this is not a good way to share information. No one's gonna scroll through this Google doc and then come back two weeks later and do it all over again to find some link. There needs to be some level of organization. And we talk about this in the um, uh, CTA, the Collaborative Tech Alliance is like, if there are two startups that are like, if there's a, another type of platform similar to Trove and they're trying to do something a little bit different, great, let them do it different. Don't force them to merge with Trove. But if, um, if Trove and um, for example, the Open Future Coalition platform are both doing events, their event schema should probably follow some standard protocol that lets them interoperate. And that protocol doesn't mean they have to have the exact same fields, but it needs to at least work. Yeah. Um, and so like when, when things are the same, they should at least interoperate. And when things are different, we should let people spin off new, new ontologies. And so if, and, and this, we've basically done this process, like with Kiko lab, for example, where it's like, Oh, wait a minute, we need a, a data type for like a call repository. No one else on Trove has that. We're going to create a new data type. And then Kiko Labs is going to pioneer that. And hey, guess what? Now there's four or five groups using the ontology that Kiko Lab created because everyone needed this, and there was no platform that like had that as a unique thing. And so um, that's the kind of uh, like trade off that is like, and it's like it's a balance. It's kind of a dance, <laughs> how I see yeah. it. But that's my thought process behind. But it. I, I think we're taking it a little too far. Um, and, and you're totally right. If communities or, or networks uh, want to um, increase interoperability, then you need some sort of standards, okay? Um, you need to share language ontologies. But let me, let me uh, present a metaphor here um, because um, I guess in the beginning, we don't want that um, uh, or not to go as far as that because that would be... Uh, even constraining to a certain point. But here, here's this metaphor. Um, let's, let's transport ourselves in times in the Middle Ages um, and, and look at these uh, um, um, societies in Middle East cities with culture, with infrastructure, with laws, um, you know, <clears throat> centralized governments. And then in the middle of the desert here and there, you have an oasis. Okay, now what happens is that people that come from these cities, merchants, they transport, they go with the caravan across the desert <clears throat> and, and they have to stop in some place to revitalize. Okay, and, and these oases <clears throat> are a sort of a flow through environment. 
I don't flow through environment where a lot of things happen, you know, while your camels are drinking and, 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 and you're taking some rest, <clears throat> you're meeting other travelers. But they might be merchants, they might be, I don't know, scientists. These are roots. So, so, so you meet other people. So you have an exchange. Um, you learn from each other. <clears throat> okay. So there's got to be some interoperability there. For instance, you, you have to use the same language. Or if people share some currency, you're gonna trade something, or you're just gonna barter something. You know what I'm saying? So here's I give you, I give you this this gold, and, and you give me, I don't know, you give me your camel. You know, um, <clears throat> there's gonna be some interoperability. But 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 the what I'm trying to get at here is that uh, that oasis is not part of any one of these uh, uh, centralized cities. Uh, it's not. It has its own governance. It has its own reason of existence, um, uh, you know, um, and it has a very vital role um, as a sort of a space of intersection. You see what I'm saying? Its primary role is revitalization. Okay, but but then it it's an intersection between all these different cultures. Okay, so, and believe it or not, this is how people used to exchange information. And this is how people um, used to, you know, enrich their knowledge and, and, and maybe, you know, get some artifacts from another culture <clears throat> and experience another culture, you know? So they had all these other roles. Um, I think, you know, um, now you can come and say, well, <clears throat> why don't we, um, why don't we um, um, harmonize, you know, the, 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 the the, the, the today's world would say, let's let us get on on, on, on the same global currency and and have um, have uh, have one currency to exchange. So all the cities and including these oases will have the same kind of form of payment. So it's going to be easy for travelers, one currency, one system, <clears throat> and let us use the same language, <laughs> not to, so that we could let's adopt the universal language. Let's say a business language, a trading language. <clears throat> So that it's all, uh, it all you know. Um, so in, in today's world, we try to like go overboard and harmonize everything, uh, put everything on the same platform. <clears throat> um, but I think, you know, I think we, sh we don't have to go there now. <clears throat> um, so can, can Trove be this like oasis where some sensorians are wandering around this universe, this ecology, okay? And boom, they, 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 they fall there and they say, oh, okay, so, I see here a bunch of people from different organizations that are trying to do something together, you know? And, um, and um, maybe they don't speak any particular language, but, um, you know, somehow they're, <clears throat> they're getting the act together and, uh, you know, make, taking an initiative together. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Um, but, but that space has its own ontology. That space has its own logic. That space has its own structure, has its own reason of being, existing, um, which you cannot derive from the motherlands, uh, and 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 you don't have the need to require uh, a lot of interoperability with all these lands. You see what I'm saying? It's like the oasis. It's just a, a part. Yeah, got 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 you. Got you totally. Got you totally. I don't know if if if, if Alexar, I, I, I'm following you, man. I, I understand totally. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the protocols or or the heuristics or the common to, to make any type of common sense, they 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 are they have emerging properties. They are they are they are going to be the result of the interactions, right? They're going to be the result of all sorts of interactions, right? So the interaction is the, is the meta flow, is all the flows that we're going to do together, right? So, yeah. uh, so, so, so yeah, the interaction. So it, 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 the, the, the heuristic and the, the respective ontology for it or the patterns is going to be having emerging, uh, emerging uh, properties, right? Like a, a network phenomenon. Right, so what we're talking here about is this space that is non-local. It's, it's a non-local space. It's not local for any, for each. It's not the motherland that is included. 
is a is a is an inner and inner space that mm -hmm. is non-local, like mm -hmm. <laughs> like quantum like quantum mechanics, right? <laughs> like quantum mechanics. If we're using the mean that uh, everybody <laughs> understands non-locality. So uh, yeah. I like it a lot. What you just uh, uh, what you just described, Chibi. It's going to be nice to have uh, the reaction for recent Flavia, Atlas, Lauding, and Alexar. I just want to add one quote, which is like, if you, this applies towards a lot of things, but if you don't define your branding, you still have branding. If you don't, if you're not intentional about how you design something, you still are designing something. Cool. And so it, it's kind of like, there is no neutral. Like when you create something, when you create a group, when you create um, a, a, a project, when you create anything, you're, it, you're, you're, um, the system is defined by the action that it has in the world, right? Even if you don't put any thought into defining the system, the system still defines itself by what people, how people interact with it. And so I think, you know, um, it's help, it would be helpful um, to like continue that conversation of like, what is the sort of um, activity or behavior or um, oasis to be created here and which parts of that can or couldn't fit into to trove to be then shared out and connected to everyone else that's kind of how i'm thinking about things is like yeah well we're actually designing something because the oasis exists <clears throat> it's there and it's clear and, and every, every all the troubles know what it is uh, and know how to interact with <clears throat> they know they know that they can find some resources there have some interesting conversations over the fire and and learn something new about another city somewhere else where I don't have time to go. <clears throat> um, so it's a clear thing. Um, but I think there is, I think we, there is this kind of colonialization um, subconscious move in us, you know? So when you get to the Oasis, uh, you don't put a stick there and say, well, this is Athens or this is, uh, I don't know, Beirut or, or you know, um, <clears throat> um, you know, so 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 you're not you're not putting a stick and, and trying to trying to make people behave as as they do in your city. Um, <clears throat> so um, just kind of <clears throat> the same the same way when we design the oasis, we have to resist the resist the tendency of of making it look like Centorica or like a Utopia or <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, which we're biased towards that, you know. Um, so, so it, it'll have a branding for sure. Um, and it'll have a structure for sure. Um, but, um, the structure will be, um, uh, let's say designed to, um, allow this kind of free flow emergent type of behavior, you know what I'm saying? Um, in a city, the interactions are very, um, um, <clears throat> induced, you know, meaning um, you go somewhere, well, you have to walk on the sidewalk and you have to stop at a red light. Okay, so, so, so the way, you, the way you, you move, the way you flow and the way you interact is like highly regulated by, <clears throat> by the space and all the, the social norms, right? You have to say hello. Uh, when you're in the elevator, you have, to, you have to talk about the weather. Otherwise people think you're crazy if you start talking about politics. So, um, but, but um, so it's a highly regulated space, right? So, so the interaction is defined. Maybe here we wanna, we wanna relax a little bit with these rules and, and skew the interaction towards something else. So, so that's something more emergent. Um, but it'll be, it'll have its own branding and structure. It's just, um, I guess it's just, um, yeah. It's just not wanting to, uh, to put a, a tag on it. Um, to make it look more like this or like that, I guess. I I, I want to see Atus because he's 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 going around in circles for, in circles of blockchain and stuff. So they have this kind of peer to peer mentality, right? I don't know who sees it. And he has a technical mind. Uh, thank you, TB. Uh, yes, uh, I think it's I think it's great. Uh, a lot of great ideas here, and I think it makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, 
this Web3 technology and these decentralized possibilities of connections and open source, you know, I think it makes, it makes sense to me. Uh, I, I think like Alexa, we, we must um, go deeper in these conversations in, in next uh, touchdowns and talk more about it. But, but yeah, uh, we have to organize it. There's a, lo a lot of things going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Catalyst here uh, and, and um, Trove um, on the page and, and you know, um, we, can, we can also just starting to model something. You know, when you try to model something with clay, um, you, don't, you, don't, you don't start from top to bottom and you have the little figurine ready. First of all, you just, you just put your hands into it, right? And, and try to try to massage it a little bit to see if uh, you know yeah let's go for it let's more. go for so, it yeah so uh, so we can start experimenting you know put our hands into it and starting to see if somebody comes out of the, that exercise yeah but before uh, you can share please Chibi, feel free to share to share your screen and we can we can we can make this this uh with you and be very welcome when i where how are you man uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Glad to be here again. I just wanted to connect a bit. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah, yeah. Well, nice here. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man. Uh, we we're. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, if, I, I don't know if I am able. Is, is 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 the case to to contextual to better contextualize tonight and what and, and what we're doing right now, right? What we what we're talking here about. But uh, uh, I think that what you propose to be is, is, is really what we, I'm feeling that is in the energy of the moment. Let, let's put our hands on the clay, right? So let's go to the reimagining. I don't know if you and I saw this reimagining uh, page that we have in Trove. Did you saw it, Unai? No, not yet. So yeah, that, that, let's start there and we can, and, and we can put you updated for the things that we're co-creating here, right? But it's going to be nice to have some reaction from Flavia that is here, uh, hearing or... Uh, uh, Flavia, do you want to react hey. in some, some way or some sort? Yeah, sure, please. thanks Vinny for, um, for being the space for, for me to share. So yeah, I've been, I've been listening and um, uh, I think it's really interesting, the true uh, platform. Um, I'm also trying to build a platform, exploring all, all these ideas. So it's really interesting uh, to hear the, this conversation and, and, and all these ideas that, that were provoked about this. I really like the um, uh, analogy of this metaphor of those oases and, and how can we create a space that is respons responsive to, to people's interactions and, and participations and how to uh, um, create a, a platform and a tool that can at the same time have some, some level of structure and guide some, some sort of behavior, but at the same time be adaptable to change and uh, the, the unique perspective of different groups and, and initiatives. So yeah, I'm really. Uh, I think it's it's interesting discussions, but uh, I really, Vincent, I really enjoy so far what what I've seen about Trove. I really think it's interesting. Can I say something? Yeah, please. Um, first, it, you know, this is a really really interesting discussion uh, regarding interoperability because for so many years, like every time anyone talked about interoperability, it was like in the context of, okay, if we need to have, in, if we want interoperability, we need to all do something similar in order to be able to communicate. Um, either we have to uh, all adopt one protocol or we all have to get on the same technology or we all have to speak the same language. And that's the way that we're going to create this interoperability. But what I think is really significant that I've realized from this uh, long conversation we've been having is that I think there's a more sophisticated and more effective way to achieve greater degrees of interoperability. And that is by 
viewing the connections between us and the healthy flow of information in our network as a source of wealth and creating ways in which we can um which you increase those connections without having to adopt um one protocol by kind of forming new like by really thinking about what kind of um boxes we need so instead of you know thinking of this as like a coalition of people that we need to um you know it, it, when people think of like the dow of dows and stuff like that that's uh, I think kind of wrong headed. And when Unai was talking about this, he brought up this word Pwagu. It, it, and Pwagu is this the, the guy, it's a Swahili word meaning bear or someone kind of doing useless things. And he was talking about this guy in the village doing kind of things other people thought were useless, but he's actually like an innovator and um, kind of an unrecognized innovator. And I thought, oh my God, how powerful if we had like a whole Pwagu network and how amazing it would be for the Pwagus to get together um, in a network so that they could trade information. And then that made me think where I really met uh, Vinicius, I invited him to a commons event. Hey, just sorry, and, Lauren. Yeah. Uh, Taveras, we can see your screen though. You're, you're aware of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm oh, okay. Gonna sorry do about like, that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do like Hugo. Yeah. He was doing 3D stuff. That's I'm I'm creating links and, and and the, and, and sure, all right. information. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. So then, um, so then I, I, I just started thinking if we were to concentrate on increasing the network nodes and the um, overall communication between these different groups who are doing different things in a really creative way, say, say, um, so, so this event that uh, Vinicius uh, came to and Vincent was there, it was, um, it was basically these people who um, I got people together who spoke at least um, three languages. So it was a real like oasis, like a real like meeting of nomads. And even though there wasn't like a huge purpose to the uh, event um, and no one had ostensibly anything in common, such as like a race or country or anything like that, it the the fact that all the people had these hugely wide connections of being kind of like these vagabonds, it actually made for a cohesive whole, even though, and it was like kind of a soul connection of, of meeting other people who had that same experience of being a vagabond, even if they're experienced, even if they were in another country or sp spoke slightly different languages, it was like a very intense connection. So I'm just, I wanted to put that out there of building a kind of serendipity engine um, across the network of like kind of allowing people to find their soulmates across groups and by building different boxes, which are completely different than either like the, you know, climate change or, um, you know, technology, these are not necessarily boxes that encourage um, internet work communication. So maybe we could have like, um, like a brainstorm other boxes that we can make other kind of containers that would naturally attract people across uh, the network in totally different groups and different domains like in in each kind of group you have people who are really good at detecting bullshit who love to. Um, it, or you have other people like the Puagos who are totally they love to go ahead and um, do innovation, even if other people don't understand it, and then you have people who are you know kind of the healer types and who love to fix problems and they like to make sure people get along and heal people and stuff like that so maybe we can just brainstorm like a completely different way of bringing people across network and getting them to um to talk and to to find each other that 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 is outside of the normal kind of um ways that 
you would build a coalition and then find ways that we can measure the success that are different from politics. And so maybe that would be some mathematical thing that we could see with the network nodes and the building of bridges and the kind of communication across groups and if we could measure that kind of cross group communication as a metric of success and that's all I have to say. <laughs> what did you say about the success? Okay. Wow. Um, imagining uh, measuring success as uh, the an increased flow of communications across groups so that they're able to share their innovations quicker. Great, great. And, uh, and, uh, and ha having a snapshot, to do a snapshot of this, what, what you just framed as success, Lauren, would be this transcending uh, proposal that I talk about in this, in this, uh, in this gathering, remember? Uh, I propose that we, we start to under, unveil and understand uh, of interactive communication uh, uh, between, between, between groups, between no great things. Vincent, I'm looking for you, Lina. <clears throat> maybe we can work together here after the session. Uh, maybe I get it from here. Oh, no, this is a... Uh, okay, you can't see emails anymore. Okay. Can, uh, I can just send it to you or... Yes, uh, DM me here on the... Okay. Uh, if you want to make it public. You could probably find me on Trove. I'm connected to quite a few things there and I have my email on there. Yeah. Yeah, and I, 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 I'm sensing that uh, uh, for this oasis uh, to be something that is visible, let's say, uh, for, for anyone that is in tune with, our, with what we are proposing here, right? Uh, we have to have a better sense of space and time, right? Space and time. What, what sorts of space or spaces that we're talking here? And what sort of time that we're talking here? Are we talking about a, a subjective timing of, 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 of people? Or are we talking about a chronological timing of, of people, right? Because in, in the actual societies that we live in, we're very captured by the chronological time things, right? We have timing, we have to chronos, everything. And what about the subjective timing of things? That, 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 that is, is the time to contemplate, is the type, to, is the type of contemplation, is the type to, to, to perceive your surroundings, right? Uh, uh, I think that if we are in a very organic mode, we, we are able to interact and to perceive our surroundings. We're able to be to observe and be observed, right? And so, uh, this dimension of what kind of spaces that we're talking here, space and and what kind of time, I think this is very relevant too. I don't know if you folks agree with me. I want to speak a bit, so I, I can I will wake up. Because I was falling asleep at two thirty, if I may. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what's that? Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I I think I understood uh, what everyone's saying, especially like what Lauren was saying. I see uh, a great analogy between what we're talking about here and the uh, inception and evolution of um, web or hypertext transfer protocol (HTTP). So I say what I see and like, please tell me if this, I'm really off the topic here. So it, there's a chance that I am. So the uh, team Berners Lee, when, well, before, before internet and web, there were computers that were connected and there were some protocols. 
And back then there was not even a universal domain name system. Every computer would have their own um, list of names and IPs that they would just sync with each other manually. They would email each other, Berkeley would email Stanford, hey, this is the IPs that we have, by the way, we had the new IP. So in that world, uh, Tim Berners-Lee imagined a world where documents are linking each other, right? Like envision this kind of graph that uh, it was in form of a protocol, but uh, just talking about a protocol doesn't make it happen. So what he did, he also implemented a browser. I don't think any of us ever used that browser because it never got commercial because it didn't intend to be commercial. So it was the first implementation of a vision. And then once there's an implementation, it, it's going to be used. And if it resonates or part of it resonates, those parts are going to be kind of attracting collaboration. And then the development are going to happen in two fronts. One is making the protocol, you know, improving the protocol. And as you get more contribution from other servers and other networks and system administrators, you get better, stronger protocol, which has to reflect on the implementation. And no one needs to govern that because naturally, if someone comes up with a crazy idea for the implement for the protocol, everyone would say, yeah, you guys are going to implement it, then just shut up, right? So only those uh, realistic one or practical one in the protocol layer would be approved uh, by the group. And it's not an organization. But anyone who's in that meeting, they decide and move on and they implement. And it just gets adapted as it resonates with others. Mm -hmm. so no one can force anything. Does this, I don't know, this is, this is how I'm seeing. Like the 12, I see that an implementation of a vision that you're trying, you're not saying this is how everyone should work but you're saying that the way communities are happening is a bit haphazard. There's a lot of opportunity cost and potential not being realized. And if we organize information in a certain way, uh, a lot of amazing things can happen. And here is an example. This is what we're building. And I think that's what the conversation is at. Do we, this, we see this as a tool that everyone needs to adapt or we see this as an implementation of an idea yeah, we're not talking about the idea or protocol much because there's no point if we are the only implementation. But as this catches on and is becoming more useful, then we'll see requests on, hey, can we use this in our group? Or what if we want our own domain name? Or is this open source? Or things like that. And that's when there will be enough energy to start talking in the protocol level. Is that, does that make sense? Is that, am I on the right track? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I see the clap. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, all right, good. Uh, there was a chance that I'm totally uh, hallucinating everything now. But yeah, good. Thank you. No, that was, that was well said. Thanks. All right, cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> I'm getting notifications right now uh, in a Discord group where they just started a channel in the group to talk about how they need to redesign the whole Discord channel and they're like we need to have a tab for opportunities and we need to have a, a a place to post events and i'm just like okay this is the 800th time i've been in a discord group where it gets set up and then something isn't there and then everyone says it needs to be there and then i'm just like <laughs> there's just some things that could be a template and like every group, right, wants to be able to have a, a list of resources, right? Like almost every group I've been in has some, they might name it different. And so it's just like observing that and seeing like where the action isn't happening has been really frustrating. But it's, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a chicken and egg scenario, like you said, where it's like to have this standard protocol, everyone needs to be using it. But for everyone to use it, you need to have a standard protocol. <laughs> You know, one thing I learned um, from our conversations at Kiko Lab um, is the importance of shared data objects and what that means. I know that sounds like really meta, but what that means, if we had like, um, maybe, it I don't sounds know. sounds nerdy. Yeah. So let me, let me just say what it's I mean. Meta. Exactly. Like something specifically. Um, like say we had 10 different scenarios, like video scenarios of either people trying to do stuff 
um, or a fight that happens or like is it a conflict or, you know, um, so like a video of something happening. And they were just like 10 standard data objects that each group could react to. By having some standard objects that we could react to, um, we could actually position ourselves along a continuum and show kind of where we stood in, um, in relation to other groups by saying, oh, if it were our group and this kind of conflict happened, this is how it, we would handle it in our group. And just, just having some standard things, there's, there, people don't need to handle conflict in the same way but even seeing how each group would handle these shared uh, data objects, it just give you, it lets you compare apples to apples and be like, oh, I really, I, I kind of like how this group thinks because otherwise, you know, people have these conversations and, um, you, you know, instead of having to all speak English um, or all speak the same language to, in order to be understanding each other. If we just have shared data objects and not like things that we had to follow or, um, it's, it's, it's not even like a shared ethos. It's like uh, a shared way of, um, showing what your group's ethos actually is. And we don't even have that. Uh, I, when you, before you started, when you said shared data object, I thought, oh, okay, I get it. When you explained it, I realized I didn't get it at all. <coughs> I thought, <coughs> I thought a shared data object, you refer to something that everyone can make sense of it because the nature of it is data. It doesn't need to be inside any platform to be expressed. But then what, what, when you explained it, I realized I don't understand it. Is this something you discussed in Kikolab or you, you, experience and you learn it well we discuss it in context of collective intelligence because we keep on having these like super meta discussions and it's too meta and then we don't uh, have any easy way of conversing about real on the ground things that we can kind of like com place comparisons to so we could we could both be you could have two groups or people arguing about something that actually agree and people who seem like they agree who actually don't. So when I say shared data objects, I mean just like things that we can react to that are the same without us having to do things the same. So we can even figure out who's doing what and who has what ethos right now. It's like, so instead of putting out the ethos like this, is what unites us you like we are united under this uh, ethos it's like we are just reacting to these shared data objects and we can say what our ethos is in comparison to these objects that's a great take that's a great 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 really huge i think this is one of the the most uh, 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 reach things that came out with the Kiko Labs, uh, it's, it's impressive. Uh, I got can, it can assess to, to make it it's more comfortable, right? We can accommodate the, the the perspective of everyone. Everyone needs those about that about that thing, right? That shared resource, that shared thing. Well, that that's really great. Uh, I got it totally, and and I think that this is something that we can we can let's say implement, <laughs> let's say in our proposal here. Uh, I, I totally I totally resonate with it. Vincent, you have to go, man. Yes, I'll, I'll talk to you guys next week. Uh, this has been great. Um, and yeah, if you, Tiberius, I'll be completely honest. I would love help with figuring out how to um, publish or, you know, like kind of open source some of the documentation of the ontology of Trove in a, in a better way. That's something that I'm like in the middle of trying to work on right now. Like, cause I find myself having to re-explain it a lot because I haven't figured out the best way to like, it's a really complex <laughs> um, if, in its current like form of how I have it visualized. And so like making it really simple is what I've been working on, but uh, I would love to help with that. I would, yeah, I'd love to meet up and talk more about it. Interesting. Yeah, so two, two things, uh, so by Flavia and uh, Vincent, I think if you apply a black and white 
filter, it kind of it makes you more like a Tim Berners Lee of groups communication protocols. Then people would get around you and help you, you know, like create a consensus and develop these things, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by a black and white filter? Ah, oh, because then you'll become that figure in the history that started that conversation, you know, who understood like went to different groups and understood, ah, oh, like this is missing and this is what they're talking about. It's got like a abstract way of understanding it and then just like frustrated and start building it. But now understands, okay, if I'm building the whole thing and no one understands the modeling, like how can they replicate or implement or how are we going to integrate, right? And now you want like other people to help you with that. Yeah, I, I can see like this is the struggle. Yeah. So I guess like at Tim Berners-Lee, where I see the photos of those, this all black and white. So I thought, yeah, if you make it black and white. It was supposed to be funny. Didn't really. oh. yeah, very simple, very simple, right? Very clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think that's your role. It looks like it's your role. Like it looks like the, the purpose, everything has brought you to this point to see all these groups and be frustrated. Why ever, everyone wants this? Like, why don't you do this? You built this shit, man. Like, I, the governments can't build simpler things. You know, I, I've seen a whole department like do Scrum Masters and bring the Scrum Masters and do six months and extend the budget and all that. They can't deliver. You just, you, it looks like you've just uh, out of frustration or whatever, you, you've built the thing and it looks like it's working. So it's, I'm a bit, um, still don't understand how this thing is working and if you felt the whole thing, but it looks really impressive. I think, yeah, it looks like your mission, you understand exactly what it is. And it, it, it it's, it's, I think, okay, if I, I'm, now I'm talking, I'll just finish this and then I'll let you go. The, the, the trope for you, people like you, is that you'll be too democratic, okay? I'm going to give you a very unsolicited advice of don't be democratic about your vision, right? There are going to be people who understand and want to help you. So you see the vision, just go about and implement it and then invite people to help you with be democratic about who does what in building that vision. And that vision is not trove, it's the protocol. The trove is just like something that, I don't know, six months later, someone builds the whole thing in uh, a... I don't know, microservices or node or something. That doesn't really matter. What you're building is, and if you get too stuck in making it democratic, it never goes anywhere because no one says what you're seeing. You're that eagle in that story that there are different uh, elements in a collaboration. You see the whole thing, just go for it. And uh, other people would help you build it. It's already very abstract, but then it, it comes to the protocol level. And then from that point, I think people would take it uh, forward but you got to push for you got to assert yourself you got to say this is what's needed this is what's happened it needs to be i will listen to what you have to say when the protocol is in version uh, 0 0.1 before that point we go exactly what i say and i only talk to people who are happy to work with me getting to that point and it's not about trove it's about getting the protocol to that point trove is that our tool that allows us to actually experiment with the protocol yeah, full stop. Yeah, so I end up. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, Alexa, I appreciate you very much. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I've been kind of struggling <laughs> with what you just said. So that provided some very helpful uh, guidance. Thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah, he just put you uh, in between the rings of Saturn, man. <laughs> that too. Thank you. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it's 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 like this. Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting how you kind of know. Uh, like it's like yeah, I'm just making Trove as the platform to test out the protocol, but it's like a system design which it's so ephemeral without actually building something to test it out that no one that people would think that you're crazy and so um yeah you like hit the nail on the head thank you really really great alexar well folks we're we're already really in the end not only in the top of the hour we we transpass it <laughs> so uh we we already start doing our we already set up the sandbox in the Google Doc TV, didn't we? Uh, you already you, you can you can invite us to to develop together that, and we can 
after that we can we can we can we can splash it we can put it on the trove page i don't know if we, we yeah I, I, yeah we it's already a sandbox for us to to work within right huh? and uh that's it i think that we have a really 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 interesting touchdown and with some work party on it with some some hand in the clay, right? And uh, uh, so, so folks, for me, uh, when I was talking about space and time, I'm talking about uh, uh, per perceiving uh, our 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 the asynchronous movement that we all we all do, and the synchronous movement that we do, right? And uh, I, I'm feeling that uh, we need another type of pacing. In, in types of, in terms of synchronicity between our movements and a synchronicity that means that we can uh, uh, we're, we're having this synchronous weekly touchdown right and we have some work that we do in between this touchdown but this some work mainly i have been doing and louding has been ultimately doing with me but i I think that we need to to this for us to have a better grip. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but uh, we we need to, uh, to in order to to better use the trove environment in order to to really to to uh, to materialize our intentions here. We need to have a, a, a better peer to peer flow dynamics in between us. Uh, during the touchdown, so uh, this is this is a, a dimension that I, I feel that it's 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 important us to tackle with, to tackle to look at it, and to see how, because I'm already doing this movement. I go to Sensorica where TB is, and uh, and, uh, and I think Laurie is doing too. So it's going to be nice for we expand and uh, have this 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 mutual, let's say. Uh, conversations not only on everyone's discord right but we have the time and the pace to to critically look what to, how we are, are evolving that, that's my that's my take i don't know if you guys felt this way but i i'm feeling that it is it, it, it's coming the time <laughs> the time right to do this in, 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 a, in a different pace do you agree tv i don't know and it would be nice to have uh uh, Alexar, uh, take two in Athens. Yeah, go ahead, Alexar. Yeah, I'm just following. I, I agree. I guess I'm. I agree. Yeah. It. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, and uh, well, just to wrap up it. here. Just to wrap up here. Uh, would you guys want to add something uh, so we can? We can we can finish here. <laughs> I know that already everybody has already its own flows, right? We are already going to the mode of to be not synchron uh, synchronized together here. So everyone wants to add something for what we 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 discuss. We we came up today. Mm, no, I, I'm okay. I, I thank you all. I think we we must. We must keep this conversation. I I'm very happy with well, well in what we got it in this in this way of organization and yes, let's keep doing it. Thank you all. Okay, Atus TV. No, it's pretty cool. Um, what can I add? It's good. Uh, so, so it's nice to see if we can um, um, get from from these these visions to some sort of protocol and implementation. <clears throat> uh, because, um, Alexar, what what we've been trying to do here for um, almost I don't know a few months now, a lot of months, <laughs> um, it's to um, 
discuss around how can different networks um, interact with each other and we can establish some flows because everything is siloed and that is by the way the internet is architectured right you have to be on a server and and then stuff doesn't flow <clears throat> so it's this idea of networks of networks of this peer-to-peer -peer, um, kind of society so um, we've been trying to to understand how we could um, build these bridges between these communities and we used all sorts of metaphors uh, for it and slowly slowly started to implement some thin links you know but now we're trying to integrate more our um, activities together so that we can actually do something together not just share ideas um, yeah so it's interoperability at the economic level you know uh, uh, cultural level I have an idea about it, TB. Uh, we could talk about uh, here in Utopia, we're working with threefold system and they mm -hmm. have the decentralized node system. And I think it could be a good way to start, maybe integrate. Yeah, these, are, these are the things that I want us to talk about at some point, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, yeah, so I'll ping you when you have time. Okay, it okay. would be great. Thanks. So, like, I'm looking at this trove page for this event, and it looks like the event is something that is hosted by a few communities. This one is hosted by one community, but I can't see how the conversation can continue after this event ends. Is there a way on trove, or we have to do it offline with email, and, like, how does this work? Yeah, we, like uh, Vinny was saying, he shows up in Zentorica, so we have some interactions there. Uh, so we, we we built this these these portals that people can go into other communities and and land uh, on their discussion zones um so so let's say there is no yeah so so we we kind of resist that tendency of recreating another silo with uh, another template like where do we talk and where do we do this and where do we do that um you know we kind of resist this tendency uh and 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 want to want us to be uh, putting in place things that are more more dynamic, you know what I'm saying? And you know, so so we so, okay. Let's, realize, let's, we yeah, realize, let's talk practically. Yeah. If 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 I find if if the, if it's something occurs to me in the morning when I wake up and I say, oh, was I dreaming last night or was it happening? Oh, that thing I wanted to tell people. What do I do? Like, how do I express myself? Or yeah. you know what I mean? So, practically. Yes, so for you it's hard uh, because you don't have the map. Um, so what you can do mm. is contact me personally, and then I could I could guide you. Um, How would I, I find you? Like, is there a way on Trove here now for me to find? No, so Trove um, is not a. I central, think I'm also. Oh, okay. Trove is not a central location. Okay, That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> got it. Yeah. Um, so so it is a it is a good question. Um, and I want to distinguish between uh, me or Vinny that have mapped a little bit and, and know how to navigate and the newcomers. Um, so, so it is a challenge. How do, um, we, how, do we, how do we make so that newcomers can actually not waste a lot of time and, and, and lose motivation before they can actually take an action? I totally agree with you. Um, is creating another island in an already existing archipelago, archipelago the solution? Maybe not, because what we're trying to do is build these bridges between these islands and creating another island. It's like just, it's like just going forward into the same problem of, of siloing activity, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, don't, think, I don't think by creating another island um, would be the, would be a, I mean, I, I, pers I personally resist trying yeah. to do is how can we make these existing networks connected together perhaps even at the infrastructure level so things flow people flow ideas flow um maybe 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 tokens and and, and currency flows um how can we do that and you don't want to introduce another, yet another and, and, piece of structure you just want to allow the flow you don't want to like make the structure more complex or yet another system yeah, we, we I don't think even, I understood what you're trying to do. Because we're islands, okay? We're trapped into our own databases because that's how the internet works, okay? But but as human beings and, and social connectivity, we are something else. We're just forced into this internet architecture, okay? And we feel like in a straitjacket. 
okay because we are peer to peer we I, we have a peer to peer mentality and we understand that the, the network you know topology and we cannot we can navigate networks and all that um, but we're trapped into these databases we're trapped on these islands so what we're trying to do is is build some bridges some pipelines but we don't want to build a, a platform we don't want to put all these islands on one platform with 100% interoperability and 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 mm -hmm. and create this I don't know this um, this island empire. You know what I'm saying? We we want to we want to preserve the specificity of each island or whatever it is, or maybe or maybe even find get out of the island and, and, and just exist in, in in a different space. But but yeah, so so you know we have some challenges and and there are solutions. Uh, one is to create another island. I personally kind of resist that because. Because we got here in the first place, we, we created the problem by building islands. And now we have too many islands that don't talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? So, so I don't think by adding more islands, it solves the problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or by, by pulling this arm, uh, uh, all these islands on, on one single platform. I don't think that's, that's a solution. So, so now we're kind of moving towards concrete action. It's like we're, we're, we're we're, we're putting pipes in between these things and we're talking about some architecture and protocols, right? Which is, which is a huge leap, you know, from where we started. Um, this is where we are. It's, it's things, things materialize in some way. It's a very organic thing, I understand. Yeah, so um, here, this is the only real thing and you gotta find a way to keep in contact with people until the next event. The same way as I found this, the link to this email event again, I asked Lauren, Oh, what happened to that Friday thing? She said, oh, I thought you in the mailing list and now I made it this week and I missed it that week. It's kind of an organic. Perfect. Yeah, so Lauren yeah, is, yeah. Your, is, your, is your entry and, and it will show you bridges. Um, you can join Utopia and, and that will be your entry and Vinny will show you bridges <laughs> or you can join Sensorica and that will be your like entry and then I'll show you bridges, you know what I'm saying? To, to jump Perfect. to other things, right? I think that's yeah. the, yeah. That's the, the way I put it is that it's not efficient is effective so you're focusing on effectiveness not e efficiency like you're not thinking of like engineering systems that are efficient and like making sure that a person comes in they this happened that happened that happened necessarily you're making sure that like when there's desire and intention there would be ways and you you're relying on humans connections for those ways to be found well i think that's how I, I interpret what you said i think uh, it's totally yeah. And we're trying to mimic the nature's complexity here too, in a sense, mm -hmm. to perceive our interdependency, to perceive our yeah. re real interdependence, because we have all sorts of interdependencies, right? And so this move here is, is a move to, to, to how we can be creative or co-creative, how can we uh, uh, interact, we can diminish distances we can uh, the, the small world network effect, right? In a very biomimicry way, let's say. And uh, in, in this sense, uh, we're trying to, to see if we can come up with a life-centric, not a, a human, not an Anthropocene human-centric thing, with, with a life-centric thing to mimic life of the planets, right? There has this, this intention behind. And man, how is challenged to do this? It's incredibly challenging challenge to do. It's it, 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 sometimes I feel how we're captured by our, our own biases, our own co conditionings as uh, uh, cultural conditionings, and uh, how we are captured by the the organizational paradigm. Right, we're so captured by the organizational hierarchical organizational paradigm that we feel we feel almost uh, without any type of potency. Right, because. We always need someone to, to, to say something for us, to, to we feel agency less, right? We don't feel, we don't feel agents, even in the, the, the web, it's, it's even worse in the web to web 2.0 environment where you're really, really, you're really just a product, right? You're really just some, someone there that is being explored as a product. Uh, and, and to to have the to to be mined mined in the sense to be mined in, in all all dimensions not only by your wallets right but all dimensions so this is the this is the, the type of thing that we're trying to 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 
to to tackle with uh, because uh, as, as i said this is it's some so there's some type of social technology here uh, some type of psycho technology that we're 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 co-creating but we're not aware of this and until now we're we're really not aware because we're, we're doing something that is is not given right it's not systematized it's not crystallized so it's very frontier ish if you if you want to put it that way so that's why it's not so structured right <laughs> yeah. it's going to be yeah is it going to be is it going to be nice is it going to be nice to see how uh how the trove protocol is really is really open code is really is really is really has the organic properties that Visa thinks that it has for us to prototype this type of uh, intra platform let's say this type of non non local intra platform way of of making us understand making us uh, uh, connect each other without uh, the biases and without the silos and for all the things that TB just shared with us. Yeah, and really brilliant. So yeah. TB, uh, wrapping up here, anything else, guys? Oh, uh, excuse me, Vinny. I just want to say uh, that uh, that's very important to me what, what we got here now because uh, yesterday I was talking uh, with people around me uh, about some products and services and how, how much people and society uh, just do things to, to show they are doing something, you know, and not to work and not to, to make things work, you know. And I think it resonates what Alexa said and uh, we, we're not looking about efficiency. We're, we're looking about making a thing that works, you know, <laughs> it works to, to people. And I think it's, it's very important. And I'm, I'm happy to be with it, to be here with you talking about it. And yes, yeah. thank you. I, I will also, because uh, uh, Alexander, I think you, it's the first time you're here, right? No, 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 no. Second time. Not the okay. first Yes, 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 yes. So, so there's some, something very practical behind this. As much as it sounds very abstract and, and, and edgy, uh, there's something very practical here, okay? Uh, and and I, don't, I don't want you to lose that sense of practicality. Um, you know, the, the way we talk about it might, might, might feel a little bit uh, up, up there in the sky. But, but just to give you a sense of reality here, um, you know, with Sensorica, we're doing some very interesting hardware development projects, and we have collaborations with some universities and go for funding and want to disseminate these things into communities. And, and, and one practicality is like, oh, uh, why don't we work closely with Utopia, who has a peer to peer way to produce video content? So, so that could help us disseminate this open source technology. Okay, but, but, but now Utopia is a tribe and is sitting on an island. When we're a tribe doing hardware, sitting on an island, how can we, how can we actually work in synergy? You know what I'm saying? So this is, it's very, very practical, but, but talking about efficiency, you know, um, you know, it's something so generic because then we're gonna, we, tomorrow we have another project, another type of project and, and might be some other type of coalitions that are built. Um, and, 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 and the interoperability is first at the cultural level. Because why would Sensorica like to work with Utopia for content production? Because they don't have this corporate way of projecting a message uh, and making it look like an advertising uh, thing. Okay, because, because we culturally, we, we understand that we're not talking about a product, we're talking about some commons and we're talking about some purpose and we're talking about empowering individuals and not, um, projecting the technology to make people dependent on it and make a lot of profit, right? So, so anyway, and, and the way this information is distributed instead of being one to many can become many to many and people are talking about it. So there is this compatibility, this culture. That's why we want to interoperate and, and collaborate. It's something extremely practical here and, and it's broad because today we have an initiative, tomorrow we have another initiative. So it's like a city. You know, if you try to make a city if you try to instrumentalize a city to make it efficient, you will make it not livable. And you will restrict other type of entrepreneurial and cultural endeavors because you have made it efficient for something. 
like let's make it super efficient for transportation or let's make it you know like when you look at a mining town which is a town built on top of a mine that town has been designed uh, to support a mining operation and you can say that the city is very efficient people go from home to work in a very fast way they can stop and eat at the cantina food is prepared they don't have to break their heads okay so that is a highly efficient city that you know instrumentalized for a narrow scope but but what but but as you do that you know you're kind of hindering some other things so we're not we're designing a kind of a city if you want a metaphor you know um we're not designing a platform like uber that specializes in making uh, the connection between drivers and and those who seek a ride very efficient and the transaction very fast and user friendly you know what i'm saying uh we're kind of building a city where there's a bunch of entrepreneurs with different projects that want to interoperate interoperate right okay so so it is efficient for what we want to do we believe uh but but uh, but it's not a one purpose platform that we want to build you see Yeah, so and very, and very practical, very practical. Do you want to react to that, Alexar? If you want, we can, we can, we, we, have, we have some more time here. I think your microphone is cut. Yeah, thank you. It was like a, a physical. So I think it's a, a different in terminology. Um, I'm an electrical engineer, so this is just I was referring to a, a an engineering dilemma where you kind of you got to design for either. And uh, I, I heard what you what you said, and I think yeah, my assessment, my understanding was exactly like what you described. So I think in we're in agreement in that. Yeah. So folks. Uh was a, as usual was a wonderful touchdown some with some work party in it with some with some sandbox to put our hands on and as tv said very practical uh, i like the uh, really really tr really trying hard to do a lot of interesting things and not only talking about, we're, we're actually doing the walk and the talk, right? At the same time. So uh, be very welcome, man. Be very welcome. And uh, let's, 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 let's continue the conversation on the verses of Discord, Dao Dao, Pia, and others. And uh, see you next time. See, see everybody in the next week, okay? So that's it. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.